Hey guys, Jeff Malott here with yakfisharkansas.com. Uh, today I'm going to go over the new FlexPod OS from Wilderness Systems. Uh, the OS stands for Oversize. Uh, if you guys have seen the Ride 115X from Wilderness Systems, it also has a pod, but it's a lot narrower. Uh, the new FlexPod OS, as you can see here from the front and side views, much larger unit, gives you a lot more options. Uh, now I'll go over how I've got it set up with my depth liner. What I've got in on, rigged on it is a Lorenz, Lorenz uh, Elite 5 HDI. Uh, it's got a pretty large transducer, but you see it fits right there on the bottom nicely. Um, the flex pod has got a large mounting space right there on top. A lot of folks put a, a ram ball or another adjustable uh, arm set up to put your, your unit on. I just mounted it straight to the base of the, of the lid here. Uh, behind it, I used a hole plug from Lowe's, drilled it out to fit the wires, and then sealed it back with some goop. Uh, fit it in that hole, keeps it uh, waterproof or water resistant at least. Same thing in the back, I've got the wire coming out the back, drilled out a hole plug to fit it, uh, with the wire coming through this recessed area in the back and down to my transducer on the bottom. Uh, just used the factory transducer mount and then installed that flat on the bottom of the, the flex pod. Inside, Secures on the front here with a screw-on uh, piece right at the front of the unit. Let's see if I can get this open real quick. And that'll house your battery, all your cables, your extra transducer cable, so you don't have to cut anything down and try to make any adjustments. Uh, inside here. So here's the inside of the unit. Uh, as you can see with the lid open there. We've got the battery horizontal there with some pool noodle I have wedged in on both sides and underneath right there. That helps keep uh, the battery from dragging on any screws that I have mounting that uh, transducer uh, mount on the bottom from coming up and scraping the battery or anything. Uh, I've got all the holes on the bottom sealed with marine goop of course. Um, you can see here the back side of that hole plug from the top of the uh, flex pod drilled out with both cables coming through nicely. Uh, nice and snug, no water gets through there. Um, all the extra transducer cable and electronics, uh, power cables are housed in there. You don't have to cut anything down to make it fit. It, it easily fits. And really, you could probably fit two batteries in there if you wanted to run two. Uh, the lid is, is water resistant, but not quite watertight. Still working on a way to, to seal that. If you're taking heavy splashes or water over the bow, it will take on a little bit of water, but it is, it is water resistant for sure uh, for normal conditions. So here it is, guys, the new flex pod from Wilderness Systems. Comes standard on the attack and the thresher. If you have both boats, it actually moves seamlessly between both, so you don't have to have uh, multiple electronics. You can just pick it up, put it in the other boat, and, and go on. Uh, the fact that it is so easy to remove, removable uh, really helps if you're, if you're stopping over somewhere with your boat, you can pop it out, you don't have to leave it in there for a while so no one can get a hold of your electronics uh, while you're on the road. Uh, it's a great setup, uh, there's going to be a lot of options coming out for it in the future, so stay tuned, go to wildernesssystems.com uh, for more info. Uh, thanks for watching.